Hello and welcome to the Hoof GP. Today we have two big friendly bulls. This guy here has a seriously sore front right foot. And the one behind him, a seriously foot. And the one behind him, a seriously sore back foot. This is the Hoof GP. far away back left foot. Clearly in a lot of pain. And this front guy's front right foot is hurting as well. Right, my beautiful boy, should we get you in the crush and get you all fixed up? Of course we should. That was easy. We are gonna trim all four feet, but we're gonna attack this front right first. Some of you guys are gonna say, why didn't you clean the foot? I don't have any water anywhere near me. I'd have to walk for probably five minutes and back and then I would have water everywhere. But I wish it was clean, I'll be honest. No need though, we'll crack on because it doesn't really make any difference. Full of stones. Those stones clearly wouldn't be adding to his levels of comfort. They'd be detracting from it, but I'm almost certain that is not the main issue for this big guy's foot. You see that crack on the left hand side of the left hand claw? Well that is the culprit. Clearly I want to fix this bull's feet because they're hurting him and that's the last thing I want for a big guy like this, but on another level. These bulls are here to do a job, and they're not going to be wanting to jump up and down on cows all day with feet like this. We'll get a block straight on them. These bulls are from an organic dairy farm, and they live outside for most of the year. So this is a very natural style of foot that you're seeing in front of you right now. So while Craig pops a block on this front right foot, I'm going to crack on and trim the other three. His other three feet were pretty much perfect, so I didn't bother to film them. So clearly here is the problem. He's got a massive gouge right up his inside. This white line defect is also known as white line disease, which I find rather strange to be fair because this could be the result of an accident. Bulls like this fight a lot and that can cause abscesses. See the hole that's just opened up. This bull was probably much more lame than he actually is today, and that's because the abscess has started to subside. It's probably burst and the pressure has been released. But he's far from out of the woods. So clearly his corium is completely infected and it's festered and festered and now it it's covered in pus. Trying to lift away the loose and detached horn away from his foot. That's why these knives are curved, by the way, because a kitchen knife is trying to split something in half. This, these knives are designed to remove. Remove. Get it? Get it? No. Never mind. If I don't deal with the origins of this crack right up there on the hairline, I'm basically only achieving cosmetic improvement. This is how you cure white line problems. So who watched this farming life and saw us on there? Hands up. Or you could just put it in the comments actually. Right, that's us about done for this. I'm going to reduce the height of this a little bit because he doesn't need it because that block's helping him so much. Removing this portion of the hoof horn is not strictly necessary, but once that block has been removed or falls off, it'll mean there's a greater height difference between the two claws, allowing the healing process to continue. I'm really happy with that. This is slightly infected with dermatitis, but I'm confident this iodine will deal with that. It's not majorly overrun with it, and now that it's open, the oxygen in the air will actually help to kill the dermatitis. Because dermatitis hates oxygen. Bovibon doing its thing. And that's about it. Look, he 
you see the sword edge isn't even touching the ground now. Happy days. Right, let's see how he walks. Sometimes bulls just walk back to their pen with no bother whatsoever. And sometimes they don't. One boy, go. Oh. <sighs> Big wild bull as you can see. Come on. That's a boy. Come on, come on, big boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is not going to plan. That's not going to work for you. Oh that's a boy. That's a boy. That's a boy. Then you go. These things are meant to try us. Now we can trim the next bill. It's his back. Left foot that hurts. And right there, if you replay it, you'll notice it sounded too confident. Yes, this back left foot was the seriously sore foot. But his back right also turns out to have some serious and complicated issues. It's rare for any cow or bull to have a sole fracture on their outer claw, but a sole fracture is exactly what this big beautiful Hereford bull has got, and I know he's going to need a block, so I prepare that inner claw ready for a bit of block application magic. Right, let's stick a block on there, like that. And with the Bovibond wizardry complete, it's time to attack that sole fracture. So it looked like we we're almost finished, didn't it? Look, you can see that tracks up in there, look. You see? You didn't see that coming, did ya? Removing that overburdening horn covering the lesion will be just enough to allow the lesion beneath to heal. No wonder he was sore. And that should sort him right out. Now we'll quickly trim his other three feet behind the scenes and let him go. Okay, so it's been five minutes since the last time I spoke. And the behind the scenes thing isn't going so well. Because he was so lame on that foot, we couldn't tell he's actually lame on this one too. And if you look there, it's all under run. This is a really regular occurrence. This bull has an incredibly sore back left foot so he's been favouring this back right, and it's not designed to take all that pressure. So it too is starting to develop serious problems. This could be a big issue. So people have been asking me recently what you do if there's problems with both claws. And I think you're just about to find out. You need to be inventive usually. Not majorly inventive, not like Thomas Edison inventive, but inventive. So just so that we're all on the same page and all clear about what's happening here, he has a sole fracture on that inner claw towards the rear or heel of his foot. And he has an axial wall fissure on that outer claw that has caused a delaminated or double sole. Have you got a wooden block please Craig? Yes I do. I don't know if you guys can see that but he's got a crack running right up the inside of his axial wall. I recently did an amazing podcast out of Texas and on that podcast they asked me why I use so many different types of blocks and this is the perfect example. Using a wooden block we can easily shape it to whatever dimensions or shape we require. Also it wears away fairly quickly. So this will not need much time at all to repair. This believe it or not does but by the time this falls off this will be repaired and then he can put his weight on here and this should fix. Or at least that's the plan. You see his problem was in there. So by removing that loose horn it should start to heal and this little sole fracture shouldn't be a problem. Well this was a lot more complicated than I thought it was going to be. That is pretty. And with that complete all that's left to do is get his feet on the ground and see 
how he's walking. There he is with his two sexy balls. Close the back doors. Clearly, he's not going to be walking perfectly, but as you saw before he entered the crush, he didn't even want to touch the ground with that far away back left foot. So this guy is definitely more comfortable. Thanks for watching guys, catch you on the next one.